So in part B now, we are asked to find the electric field a distance z above the midpoint between two equal charges, except now we have the right uh, hand side as a negative q and the left is a positive q. So just by intuition, you know that the electric field from a positive charge will give a field, an electric field going up like this. And for a negative, it's actually going to the field is going to be going directed towards the negative charge so it will be coming down like this and so the will end up with just when we add these two vectors together so add this vector to this vector or vice versa this vector to this vector but either way you'll get a field we know coming out to the right along the x-axis in the positive direction Okay, but now let's run through the math, and I'm not going to um, go explaining quite as much as in the previous video in part A. I'm just going to run through it as quickly as possible, but I do recommend you look back to that. So we have our prime always goes to the charges. So R1 prime goes to charge 1, which is on the left, and R2 prime goes to charge 2, which is on the right, uh, source point 2, and then our, our unprimed, this is the only thing I really remember, is just regular little r always goes to the point in the field you're trying to determine, and then script r1 goes up like this, script r2 goes from source point 2 to the field point. Okay, so now we just need to determine what script r1 is. That is x minus x naught x hat plus, remember there's no y in this, we only have the x and z axis, z hat. So let's look at this, we have for the field points, it is at x is 0 on the origin, so we don't have this term. Um, we do have this because for the field or little r vector, we do have some distance z up here, so this stays in, and we might as well just do both at the same time now. So again, it's the same little r vector, so we know that cancels, minus x naught x hat plus z minus z prime z hat, and this is the same vector again, so we know this is in, but now the the two source uh, vectors, or the prime vectors, will change. So for R1, we're going to the left. This is at, remember this whole distance here is D. So we take half that distance, is D over 2. This is negative D over 2. Positive D over 2. So we're working with uh, R prime 1. So we're at negative D over 2. So negative D over 2. Uh, at z prime, we actually don't have any because we're just at z is 0 in this vector. And likewise, in this vector, we are at z is 0, so we cross that off. And now here, we are at, for r prime 2, we are at positive d over 2. Okay, now we just need to keep our signs steady, so r1 is equal to, these two negatives will cancel, d over 2 x hat plus z z hat. And then this will be positive d over 2, but we have a negative there, so negative d over 2 x hat plus z z hat. If your answer doesn't work out, usually you made some sort of sign convention somewhere. That's an easy fix. So now we just use superposition. e is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, and we're going to add up uh, these two. So we have a positive q, working with uh, this over here now, source point 1. And then our r, oh remember, okay, so our script uh, r hat divided by the magnitude of r squared is the same as the vector of script r divided by the magnitude to the uh, 3, 3 halves power, which you can just write in easier notation, 
to the three halves. Um, I'm not sure if this is actually right, but yeah, I know this you can work with, so just use this equation here. Okay, and then we have R1 factor over R1 to the three halves. But now, so we're going to add them, but notice that we have a negative Q, so that's where the difference comes in here. R2 divided by R script R2 to the three halves power. So when we actually write this out, we get 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q times, and R1 is d over 2 x hat plus z z hat divided by z magnitude. So we have, think about squaring the terms in the bottom there. z squared all to the 3 halves. And now here we had the uh, addition, but now we're going to have a subtraction. And this will actually distribute through. So now we have, we'll put in this term, so negative d over 2 x hat plus z z hat divided by the same common denominator plus z squared to the 3 halves power. So this negative will distribute in, make this positive, and it will distribute in, make this negative. So what we're going to end up with is very similar to in the previous video. Um, we can even pull this Q out front. And we're going to get these two terms now cancel because this will distribute in, make this negative, this will be positive, these two will add. So we'll just have uh, d over 2 plus d over 2, d over 2 plus d over 2 divided by the same common denominator, z squared to the 3 halves. So finally, we are left with, and i got to put in the, the x hat, because that's still there. So our final answer is the charge times d x hat divided by d over 2 squared plus z squared to the 3 halves power. Okay, and that makes sense because we're only in the positive x hat direction and we figured that out earlier. Perfect. Thanks. See you in the next video.